Hello, my lovely Trilobites and Fossil fam. I have missed you as always. So I got this in the mail, not through PR, through the internet where I pay the money and they ship me items because I've seen um, Bottle of Happiness use this brand on her channel and th the packaging, I, I thought that this, I've never seen flower nose in person before. This is heavy. This is not like a plastic thing. I mean, okay, it might be plastic, but this is actually really, really heavy. And I believe it, yeah, it's also magnetic. And I'm not saying that these colors are the most spectacular because I prefer not to really wear neutrals, but I bought this purely for the packaging <laughs> and because I was curious about the formula. Although, um, I had to, I had to go to the, the website and, and, um, have it translated because there's that, but I, this packaging is, is unreal. I mean, I just, and this is heavy and I do want to swatch this, but I don't want to swatch it. It's one of the, I mean, it's not like my Odin's Eye Christmas palettes. Okay. Like these are colors I'm probably not really going to use. This is like a display piece in case I ever actually buy a ring light and a microphone and become on camera or whatnot. But we're going to swatch these because we can. I, I don't, I don't know the shade names. <laughs> I don't even know exactly which. This one is Flower Nose Moonlight Mermaid Series Five Color Jewelry Eyeshadow Palette. Zero One Stellar Sand. But I, this is gorgeous. This is absolutely gorgeous. So I want to swatch it and see what it feels like because I've never had this in person. And I'm not saying these colors are going to be amazing. I mean, I'm not saying these are going to be like the most interesting colors. But it's more of, I've just never seen it in person. Oh, that's really creamy. Okay. I mean, this is like what I would wear to work. If I wore makeup to work, which half the time I do not wear makeup to work. Because when you're in like, if you're in a Tyvek suit with lab goggles, I mean, there's just, in a mask, there's just no point. Okay. This is a really interesting feeling. My allergies are horrific and it's like a million degrees. Okay, not a million, it's like 100 degrees outside. So it's been really, really hot and it's just gonna get hotter and hotter and hotter. So that's what this looks like. I wonder if this has a scent. No, this does not have a scent. In case you were wondering, but this is very like, I really find this formula kind of fascinating. It has a very interesting texture. It's not a bad texture by any means. It's just interesting, but I wanted to compare it to, um, I was at the, uh, let's shut this because this part is just way too pretty to look at. So we'll just look at that. I went to the CCO and they had the Tom Ford quads on sale and I picked one up because I've never actually like tried one or played with one before. I mean, I've swatched them in store, but I haven't really like done anything. So this is like number two and it came in this white bag, which I just touched because I thought it was my wet wipe and it was not. So it's like the white packaging and it looks like this. And there's a plastic piece. Those I don't need. Like, I'd rather they didn't come with, with those. I'd rather the quad just ended. Because the palettes that leave room for the brushes and little sponges, like, I just think that's wasted space. I mean, I could put, like, a Benadryl and, like, Tylenol in there. And that might be okay, but I don't know. Like, I'm not, this is, this is, these are not my jam. Okay, that's, that's not my journey. But I am curious just to like check out the different formulas here. Oh, that's pretty shiny. Okay, this is interesting. 
did I spend $90 for this palette? Oh, heck no. That's why we were at the cosmetic company outlet where they are. <laughs> Seriously discounted. Hmm. This is like a drier formula. I'm not sure about this. I mean, these are very, very basic colors and I am an extremely pale human. I don't know, from like a texture perspective? Yeah, Flower Nose definitely has more shimmer, but I mean, it's it's going to be up to your discretion and discernment, like what kind you're into. But I definitely think Flower Nose is a bit more shimmery. Let me try it on the top of my hand, because that's a more even playing field than like my arm. But everyone like raves about the Tom Ford formulas and I'm like what is the hype is the hype real because these are just looking exceptionally exceptionally pale shimmers maybe this is just a palette for toppers did I buy like a quad topper palette without realizing it I color quad blah 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 ingredients mica okay I don't know so these are like my super basic, like basic eyeshadow palettes. And then while I was also at the CCO, I grabbed, this was like on clearance. It was not, it was not $38. This was like, like $12 or something like that. It was like these three um, Bobbi Brown like eyeshadow sticks. And these are really good to like when I have to travel for work because it's not a cream product and the chance of me dropping it is really, really high. And if I drop it, it's less likely to break like a, a quad. So I was like, oh, or this could just stay at my work desk. Do you know what I mean? Like when you have to grab and go something like really, really quickly. And I did wear these the other day and they did not wear the greatest. This is, <laughs> I haven't tried the Laura Mercier caviar sticks um, or even the NYX one. I haven't swatched that one yet, but these did not wear very well. On me they came off very very quickly anyway um I will be traveling for my birthday so I don't know when you're gonna see this or my uploading schedule is going to be even more erratic than it normally is